Rupa Goswami cites seven verses to clarify verse 64, which says it is the esoteric significance of Vaishnava. Vaishnav. He says it, it, it is the esoteric significance. He quotes this word, phrase Vaishnav, Vaishnava Shastranam Rahasyam. So this is a uh, secret. The secret of Vaishnav Shastras is that a fallen devotee need not do any prayas chitta. So in karma, again, if you fall from the path of Gyan Yoga, then you have to do so much atonement, fasting, and difficult to bust you to, to get forgiven for that fall down or that deviation. But in bhakti, if you fall down or, or leave the path or break the principles, there's no separate atonement. You simply start chanting again, following the principles, strictly and chanting, and that's automatically your rightly situated without any separate endeavor or separate practices. The only qualification for bhakti is to follow the laws given by the guru. There's no need for any other method of purification. So, he quotes a series of verses from Bhagavatam to show this. This principle about one who discharges devotional service. If one takes up bhakti yoga, he's free from all kinds of obligations and responsibilities to society and to other living entities, even to animals. He simply chants Hare Krishna and everything is adjusted. He doesn't have to do anything more. It sounds very easy, but generally we get deviated. So many things. <laughs> 